Hello and welcome to part two of creating a dynamic community member based website created by Flash Building and presented by developphp.com. In the last video we stopped off at number four here, I do believe, where we created the members table and we added the appropriate fields to it. And if we have to add any fields to it later on to that specific table, we can do that no problem. And if I run into that scenario, you'll see how I do it. And uh, but you can do it from inside of PHP my admin, or you can write a little script to add any type of type uh, of field that you want to the table that exists already. Okay, so now we're going to create the universal site header file, the footer file, and any main menus needed. Uh, right now, I'm not sure what kind of main menus I'm going to need because the site is still kind of in development phase and I'm not sure where I'm going to have things what exactly is going to be in the menus itself so I'm going to worry about the header and the footer first here and uh, I'm going to build a flash header and some people might disagree with that but I'm going to use a flash header I'm going to in CS3 uh, flash CS3 professional and click action script 3 if you want to follow my code examples we'll have to script it in action script 3 but you can script yours in action script 2 I've done it before in Action Script 2 and it works just as well. So what I'm going to do is create a header file that's going to be a really smart kind of template file that will be living on every single page of my site and uh, the the header file itself will check to see whether or not users are logged in to give them a different display a little different uh, menu items and display will have them uh, buttons to where they can click to edit their profile and see all the juicy little things that they can manipulate in their account and people who are not logged in would see a different sort of configuration in the header just like YouTube does it but YouTube uses uh, an HTML header CSS and, and they use scripts like like I'm going to use to check to see if the user is logged in to render the header differently or not But I don't think they use a flash header but uh, that's what we're going to use and a lot of people disagree but don't listen to them they're really stupid they're stuck on their Ajax and JavaScript and they have no open minds for what the future brings to the web for the web through people like me and others who are really uh, in love with Flash and everything ActionScript 3 can do regarding dynamic web applications so I'm gonna make my site 950 wide and the header file itself just wants to be 150 maybe less than that maybe 100 let's see how big that is and let's make it 24 no, let's just make it 30 frames per second in case we put any animations in so they look nice and the background white is fine and because my web page is going to be white but you can set yours to transparent if you need to so let's pr press OK and we have the correct size dimensions we need for our header file here and I might even make it a little bit shorter so since we're doing the design what I have here in fireworks and you can be working in illustrator or photoshop whatever software you use to make your web graphics with I happen to use fireworks because I think it's a more powerful tool than the others but everybody has their preference um, so what I did was I created a little logo uh, you know I just made a custom a big custom shape that I wanted to be for the site logo and that's going to sit up on top so I can take this here right into flash that's a little group of items right now and I'm gonna filter go up to uh, adjust color brightness contrast convert it to bitmaps and there's probably a conversion to bitmap option up in here somewhere but I haven't found it yet maybe one of you guys can tell me about it but that's how this is how I convert the bitmap so my images don't uh, lose any quality when they go into flash or my graphics don't do any adjustments in the brightness and contrast press OK and now you have a bitmap press C control C go into flash press control V and it's going to bring in that that uh, bitmap as a movie clip here current frame as movie clip press OK and there we are there's the start of the website anyway so we'll stick this guy to where he's going to look like he's coming out the top of the browser window and we'll have him all the way on the edge maybe right there and now I'm going to 
just do a few cosmetic things and then I'll restart the video up and we'll continue on and I'll show you all the cosmetic things that I put in and if I create any movie clips I'll show you what I did okay so I've got the graphic elements that I want in my header file for the most part and it looks like I've got some space I can clear up from the bottom there so let's make it 60 that looks just about right looks like one more pixel up so 59 so okay there now it's meeting right at the edge of that and so what I'm gonna do is make my header file and you can create yours in this fashion as well I'm going to create it to where when the user, if I need to have expanded items, expanded menu items, if they go over one of these uh, main buttons, and this right now is just a, uh, a rectangle primitive that I curved the edges up on, and so are these things, these two back here. And I'm going to create this, make this uh, convert to symbol, those two uh, long ovals back there, I highlight both of them and call that menu bar that's a movie clip press OK press control shift down and it'll put it on back on the bottom that whole movie clip you can see I'm right in my main scene here right on the first frame of the only layer sitting there I haven't really divvied anything out yet into layers or movie clips except that one that I just did this one's already a movie clip and this is just a rectangle and uh, that's gonna be we'll probably make that a movie clip button or maybe a regular button symbol but we don't even have to activate that yet until we get our registration form made and allow the members to join the database there's no reason to give them a login functionality when there's uh, no account for them yet so that's gonna be afterwards so right now we can save this file as the header template so save as um, let's see let's go to actually before we do that let me stick some text on here say web intersect I'm just going to use nice standard Arial font because I'm a dork like that Okay, so that's black. This one white. And it's a little big, so let's make it about eight. There we go. Web. Make this one the same size. Intersect. I think they're on the same. That works for me. <clears throat> okay now we can save a file save as actually let's give this one a glow nice white bright white glow give this one a nice dark green glow there we go okay now file, save as, we gotta get to that desktop folder where we have our website web intersect in the root directory you just put it right there in the main root directory so uh, name the file header save it, press F12 publish it, renders out an HTML file Go get the HTML file. Now we have our index and our header. This header file is going to become the index file. So we're going to edit this with Dreamweaver 8. Now I'm going to take the. Well, actually, I'm going to cheat a little bit. And I'm going to test it in all browsers see if it works. I'm going to go to design mode with that header file that was just rendered out 
and I'm going to select that object highlight it, press control C then I'm going to go to file, open let's open the index page now now all we have to do is go let's get rid of this well actually uh, let's get rid of all this we already went through the beginning steps press control V pops it in let's go ahead where we can get to the alignment we'll click next to it here align center so now it's centered now we go into code view and you can see that it just popped the object tag in and the embed tag and that's a cheat and a hack and lots of people are going to yell but I'm going to prove it to you right now in Safari Firefox and Internet Explorer that you're all full of crap okay well not that you're full of crap but I'm just going to show you that it works you don't have to do anything special I mean all modern browsers and you got like 0.002 percent of people that won't be able to see your site whoop de freaking do okay okay now so let's see how our home page will look in the browser on the web in all major browsers and so we can shut people up that insist that object and embed tags must be wrapped in uh, la, 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 JavaScript I think if somebody doesn't have flash in their browser installed in their browser on the web they're only seeing like 10 percent of the web nowadays uh, Nah, maybe more than that, but maybe 50 percent. But there's a lot of flash elements on a lot of websites. You'd be missing a whole lot of the web. You can't watch YouTube videos. Come on, you need Flash Player installed. So if somebody doesn't have Flash Player installed, I'm not even going to worry about them. I'm not running the JavaScript, all that mess, to check and see if they're running it or not. They can go to hell. And as far as I'm concerned, if you want to leave the JavaScript all intact and have all that AC run run JavaScript. Blah, 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 Adobe puts out for you automatically that's fine but I'm gonna show you right now that you don't need it okay so you go to let's put up the index file since we changed it let's make sure we saved it yes okay index and let's make sure we just put up the header SWF with it it's that simple now um, let's go look at our website let's refresh webintersect.com Ta-da! this is Google Chrome we're in hey look at that it just shows up no problem no JavaScript now let's uh, open Safari let's grab this URL open Safari and I bet you it's gonna show no problem no JavaScript no mess raw object tags raw embed tags look at that there it shows and when I make buttons everything will work once I uh, make all of this fancy dancy put the buttons and everything make them active and let's fire work, uh, Firefox so I'm doing all this just to show you that you can just make flash files at will grab the file that was rendered out by flash the HTML file open in Dreamweaver and in design view just grab that box put it anywhere you want into your other site files just make sure you put the SWF in the proper directory. Webintersect.com. Go. What do you know? There it shows up in your problem. I haven't done anything special to these browsers I'm using. Fireworks, Safari, Google Chrome. Let's try Internet Explorer. There it is. Okay, there's all four major browsers that people are using nowadays. If you're using Opera, I'm sure it'll work too or advanced whatever you use to browse the web the raw object tags and embed tags should work just fine no problems I don't think you need all that JavaScript mess and it's a total hack and people are gonna yell at me for that but I don't care let's move on okay now uh, but it's gonna be very helpful and help you move faster as you're producing all of this stuff later on and you can always put the the check the browser check for uh, let's open that back up. Let's see, web intersect. 
you can always put the browser checked if you want but I'm not going to add it because I don't feel like it it's so easy to add in flash I even have a tutorial about it how you add to detect if the user has flash player settings within your publish settings I have a tutorial out there so I know what I'm doing guys but I'm just hacking bypassing the norm and doing it my way I shouldn't say hacking but it's a form of hacking when you do something out of the norm when you use something the way it's not supposed to be used or whatever you know people talk a lot of crap okay so uh, and web standards I could care less about web standards everybody knows how I feel about that uh, see if uh, YouTube or Google or any billion dollar website validates a w, W3C validator or whatever you call it see if they validate see if any website that makes millions of dollars online uh, bumping and moving and shaking see if they validate and then you'll shut up okay so let's go to page properties make sure the left margins is zero right margin zero bottom zero and top zero apply okay press save and now we'll be flush at the top when we FTP the index file watch this see how we're not flush at the top here we got a gap let's make it refresh booyah now it's coming right out the top of the browser just like I wanted it's gonna be a cool menu because when the people go over it with their mouse uh, we're gonna have things come up up here other sub selection items if we need them otherwise it'll just be a button and this source code for this flash file will be available maybe my graphics won't be in it but there'll be similar graphics in it and the exact code that I'll be using for my system or the sandbox system okay so that takes care of the header template file and the footer template file is just going to be an HTML simple simple HTML thing and we're going to assemble it on the home page here we'll just go into design view we're still on the index home page eventually this is going to turn to index.php but for right now while we're designing it and getting it ready it's just going to be index.html I tell you what I'm just going to stop here we'll do a part three just so this thing doesn't run run too long and uh, we'll do a part three and I'll show you the head the footer creating the body section and the footer for the home page real quick that's that'll be super easy and fast and those will also be universal files once we chop them out of there so what I'm going to do is create the home page look, get it the way I want it to look in the web browser, then I'm going to dissect it and make it template include files that we can use universally on every page on our website. When we need a change up in this header, we want to change this graphic to to maybe orange for Halloween or something, you change it once for 5,000 pages they all change at one time. You don't have to change it 5,000 times. It's That's silly. That's not a good way to work not when you're doing some kind of website like this. Okay, so see you in part three, and we'll continue on.